so here is this um, helpful extension module of ours. Uh, it's a very old module. It's like, I don't know, seven years old, uh, starting with Orchard 1. And it has an Orchard Core version as well. And one of the features that was there in the Orchard 1 version, but was lacking in the core version, is core generation. So let me show you what that does. Because uh, we can generate code for migrations. So uh, if you enable the module, or well, the feature of this module, which is the code generation helpful extensions, then what will happen is that under the content uh, type editors, uh, not on the content part ones, but under content type editors, uh, you will have some code generation uh, feature. Let's check out page. Uh, this was um, this site was set up with the agency team and the recipe. So if a, it does have this uh, built-in page content type. And now we have this, uh, uh, this toggle button here. And as you can see, now we have the, um, the, the piece of code that you have to put into a migration class generated together with all the options and, and all the uh, settings classes. So where this is useful is that you can just throw together content types from the admin area, of course, uh, with your own content parts, uh, with fields. So here are no fields, but fields are also supported uh, using all kinds of settings. And then you can just click this button, get the code, and put it into your module. Because it's reusable, and you can uh, change them in a version way. Now, this was uh, the, the part of Partially, this was inspired by uh, one, one question related to our training demo module um, uh, about how to create uh, a field, how, how to add taxonomy fields in migration classes. And I thought that let's have a code generation feature instead because that, uh, that kind of answers all of your questions about how to create migration code for something related to content types or content parts. If the content parts have um, some kind of configuration. Um, as you can see, those are uh, generated here as well. And as I said, uh, with fields too, the views have um, a different other part definition line here if there will be something uh, more involved. Yeah, um, so that's it, just, uh, just a small new feature. Cool, thank you. Is it automatically finding the settings or? Did you hard code for every part what settings to? It's automatically finding them. Um, as long as the, uh, the, the name of yeah. the class and the okay. name of the J object name or whatever matches. By convention. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.